Hi everyone, I'm Yu Jie Chen from Hujo University in China. We did a research about using distance shortening strategies to enhance opportunistic collaboration in large building environment. Um, and as for the background, um, it was found that um, from no collaboration to a fixed group co collaboration, um, students are used to be assigned to a group and finish the whole task by doing parts of it. However, um, this kind of collaboration cannot face the challenges today. So the opportunistic collaboration, um, uh, uh, which has flexible collaborating structures, and people can collaborate under their own volition, is regarded um, uh, regarded um, as an innovative way of collaboration to support creative knowledge work. Um, to make uh, making the knowledge acquisition mode transform into knowledge building mode. Um, and as for the uh, practice, we found that most students who uh, do not have experience of knowledge building tend to work in their own groups on knowledge forum. And they even have some difficulties in communications. So some of the teachers have uh, noticed the importance of opportunistic collaboration, but they have no ideas on how to do it. Uh, so in order to fill up these uh, research gaps, we tried the distance shortening strategies to help students get rid of the group boundaries. The strategies were made up of two iterative cycles. Um, the first was an attempt to shorten uh, students' physical distance by changing their fixed desk and chairs in class while shortening their ideas distance in the knowledge building community means making students further understand their connection among ideas. Um, and this research aims to answer the uh, two research questions. And the first is about whether the distance shortening strategies can help students be better opportunistic uh, collaborators. And the second research question is about how does the pedagogical intervention on shortening uh, students' physical distance and shortening their ideal distance help them collaborate with each other and improve their idea respectively. Um, so uh, we had 24 master students majored in educational technology in grade one who are new to knowledge building as our research subject. Um, they studied the learning science and the whole research lasted for one semester. Um, and we also collected their notes, content, and their connections on, uh, on knowledge forum. And we also collected their uh, video recordings of the class every week to do the social network analysis, content analysis, as well as the video analysis to ensure that opportunistic collaboration is really happened. And um, this is our um, coding scheme to, um, to do the content analysis. And um, this was how we organized the whole pedagogical and research design. Uh, so in order to encourage students to leave their seats and start to collaborate with, their, with, uh, with different people, we first try to provide them a safe and free learning space that fits well into opportunistic collaboration. So in the first interaction, all the desks and chairs were changed from fixed position into flexible position. Specifically, the desks and chairs were equipped with scroll wheels so so that students can easily combine different tables as they wish and collaborate freely however after um, um, after we made this change um, we found that only a few students participated in the free discussion most of students still gather together based on their old groups so in the next Week we moved out. We moved out all the desks, and only the chairs were preserved, which aimed at breaking the barriers and boundaries of fixed groups. Uh, and moreover, we had uh, the large building circle to help them collaborate freely. So after the first iteration, we found that 
um, the offline inten uh, intensity was quite high while the online uh, interaction still remained shallow. So um, there were a lot of um, related nodes that should have connection to generate more discussions and build downs but students were not aware of the connections and missed the chance chances for a partnership collaboration. So in the second interaction, we uh, used the KB decks and poster session to help students shorten their ideas distance, making students aware of others' ideas. Um, 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 and understand the relation among different nodes by pre uh, presenting them co-occurrence um, co-occurrence keywords and their knowledge structure. And the results show that students um, uh, students uh, average number of moving per unit time in the second iteration is significantly higher than the average number of moving uh, per, per unit time in the first interaction, which indicate that the barriers and the boundaries for students to have a, a partnership collaboration had gradually moved out. Moreover, uh, the depths of um, the depths of um, their inquiry, <coughs> the depths of their inquiry in the second interaction was much higher than the depths of inquiry in the first iteration. Um, what is more, um, it could be seen that the offline structure was gradually tighter, and the density was increased step by step. Lastly, we did the. Uh, uh, we did the uh, click analysis. The results also indicate that students were able to collaborate freely and flexibly, especially in the second iteration, which can be inferred that the students were uh, accustomed to opportunistic collaboration gradually. And uh, um, we can find um, uh, uh, that in this research, uh, we can infer the pedagogical approaches uh, proposed in the research will provide a fundamental guidance for carrying out collaborative activities and training knowledge workers in knowledge building communities and other kind of knowledge creation organizations.